So, but I know Moonless Soft is going to have some type of game they're going to show off in E3. I hope it's I hope it's another Xenoblade, but they said it, it may be the next Zelda game, which is like, I mean, Moonless making a Zelda game, that'd be hype. Hopefully, they actually make it more like Twilight Princess and not like Breath of the Wild because I'm not going to lie. Breath of the Wild, while it was a great game, it wasn't game of the year quality in my opinion because I really hated the fact the sword broke. That was stupid. That's uh, that's really a Dark Souls mechanic and they need to stick to Dark Souls. I hope it is a Xenoblade 3. They are they did say rumors that it will be a Xenoblade 3. So hopefully it is Xenoblade. But whatever it is, they also said it's like some type of like some type of like uh medieval type game or something like that. I I, I mean I don't know. Like I'm expecting I really want Nintendo to come like with like with guns because I like my Switch, but I'm not gonna lie and gonna say that it has like the biggest category of games that make people go out of their way. I mean, I got like I have Mortal Kombat on it, but I only bought it because my girlfriend likes Mortal Kombat and it's a game I can play on the go. If I want to play the game, I play it on my PS4. It's like Nintendo, while Nintendo does have their set fans, they really, really got to start hitting it home now because it's like I'm trying to be fair. But it, it seems like no matter how much Nintendo tries, they're always one step behind Sony and Microsoft. And Microsoft's behind Sony. It's like Nintendo, when it comes to... Like, Nintendo's got probably the potential to have the best exclusive category, but they barely use it. And it's like, there are games like this, like Xenoblade. Like, this game is not the ones they highlight. Because Xenoblade is a great game. I'll recommend this to anybody. It's just the voice acting is not there. It's really not. I mean, it has like the voice acting has a charm, but you you really got to go past it. But when it comes to Nintendo and these like, they, they, they got to come with these games. Because Smash Brothers only can hold somebody for so long. I got Smash Brothers, which I may pop in tomorrow. But it's like... I mean, what do you see a Switch as? Like, I mean, the Switch only has Mario. Like, I mean, I'm not talking about Xenoblade because people don't normally put Xenoblade in the categories of top Switch games. They always put Mario, Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda, Super Smash Brothers. I mean, they haven't even made a new Donkey Kong. I mean, Tropical Freeze sold units of the Wii U. But I'm just worried. Like, I really hope it is Xenoblade 3 because I need something to play with my Switch. Because now I ain't really got nothing. I mean, I'm getting Mario Maker, but... Yeah, but but see, that's bad, though. But see, that's a bad thing, though. It's like... I love games. It's like... Though, I do, I do lean towards Sony because Sony was the first real console that I really enjoyed. Like, I grew up, like, I literally grew up with the Sega Genesis and all that. I love Sega, too, but I never had a drink. Not a drink, because I never had a Saturn. Because instead, I got a PlayStation, so I grew attached to a PlayStation. But when you say that, that's the problem with Nintendo. It's like everybody associates them with one game. Think about this. What do you think about Sony? It's like, I could even, I could name two big games they got right now that's, that's knocking it out the park. I can name two off the top of my head. Uncharted 4, God of War. Those are two big games that knocked it out the park. And those are exclusive titles. Like, shoot, I can name another one. Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, what is it? Like, Nintendo besides Mario and Zelda. It's like, what else do they got? Like, Mario and Zelda is what really pushes their console. I mean, they got a Yoshi game. Nobody talks about that. Like, I mean, the Super NES was known for a, a plethora of its game. Super Metroid, Yoshi Island, Mario World. Like, I mean, there wasn't even a Zelda. I mean, I guess, I mean, was there a Zelda title on the, on the Super NES? Because I don't, I don't think it was. But, 
I mean, I'm also wrong because I forget that Pokemon is coming out for this one. Two, Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, which I'm going to get to. And I'll probably play this on this channel too. <laughs> so, but when you associate that, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon is their only really big ticket title. Okay, so Link of the Past wasn't, okay, because I didn't have a Super NES either. Like I said, I had, like, growing up, I had an NES, an NES, a Sega, uh, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, Nintendo 64, Sega Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 3, all that stuff. I had all that. But, I mean, okay, yeah, I forgot. Pokemon is also associated with Nintendo, but I'm just saying it's like, I can say this. Now, I want y'all to be real with me. Can Nintendo really make a new, a new IP and they're confident that it can sell over 2 million games? Like 2 million copies. It's like... It's like Nintendo really hasn't experimented this console generation. And I mean, yeah, they made a handheld console, but I mean, what's to say that Sony's next console won't focus on their handheld, well, not handheld, but they'll focus on fixing up remote play or something like that. It's like, I want Nintendo to succeed, but they're not really, they're not really, they're not really bringing out their big guns. It's like, this E3, I want to see Nintendo go ham. Like, I want to see, boom, 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 Metroid Prime 4 trailer, boom. What's it called? Bayonetta 3 trailer, boom. A new IP from Moonless Saw, boom. A new Mario game, boom. I want Nintendo to hit, hit it home. Like, oh yeah, Fire Emblem. Well, Fire Emblem recently got good because it came to the States. But even then, but even then... Okay, you know what? I did forget about Fire Emblem. I don't play Fire Emblem because it's a strategy type game. But you're right, Jericho. You you no, you all right, Jerochi. You all right. It is um, you got Fire Emblem too. But yeah, I mean, I guess so because I forgot about Fire Emblem. I forgot they had the two thrones or whatever it's called. They're gonna probably show that. I hopefully that's what I'm saying. I hope hopefully they'll show that at E3. Like I really want. Nintendo to start bringing their A game. Like seriously, they need to bring their A game this day. Cause it's like this game's a great game, but nobody talks about it. Ah, I can't say Kirby. Kirby hasn't really Kirby doesn't move units. I'm talking about a game that it's like I'm not trying to say you're wrong. It's like this is what I'm trying to say. It's like you can go to somebody right now and recommend Kirby. They'll look at you like you're crazy. A new Star Fox would be nice. Yeah, but it, they're not going to do that. I want an F-Zero, but they're not going to do that. Nintendo's afraid of making those like risk, taking those risks. Look at this. Like I know I'm sounding redundant. Look at the new God of War. God of War took a risk. They removed what made the original trilogy good. And they took a risk. But you saw what happened. God of War is one of the highest selling games. Yeah, yeah. It would be smart. But Nintendo's afraid of taking those risks. That's the problem with them. They're afraid of taking those risks. You have... they like I'm telling you, Nintendo has one of the biggest libraries of IPs known to man. Like, literally, they could bring an IP out the hat. Like, a new Punch-Out would be great. Like, but it's not profitable. Like, F-Zero, one of the best games, one of the best racing simulators I played, besides Mario Kart Double Dash, was F-Zero GX. But, if you're afraid of making a new F-Zero, why won't you make F-Zero GX HD? Or something like that. Or maybe, or maybe, you know what? If Nintendo was really afraid about making a new Star Fox title, how about you HD two games? You HD Star Fox Adventures and you HD, what's it called? Star Fox Assault or Star Fox 64. 
Like, you bring those two games back. And whatever sells more, that's what you're going to use for your next Star Fox title. Because it's like, Star Fox Zero was bad. Like, good God almighty, I played the game. Like, literally, that game is hard to stream. Like, literally, because I have to literally look at the tablet, like, the thing right there. Star Fox Zero was an okay, well put, it was an okay game if it had traditional controls. But Nintendo obviously always got to make some type of gimmick to kill you with those controls. Like, they have to, they, they have to add a gimmick just to be different. Though they can easily do what they did with the GameCube. You can be different, but you can have one of like, Nintendo had like tremendous third party support with the GameCube. Though the GameCube came dead last, but it still was a step in the right direction. It was still, it was more powerful than the PS2, but look at it, look at it now. And look at what games you got. Like, I have not seen nothing about Bayonetta. Like, literally, they talked about Bayonetta two years ago, and I still haven't seen nothing about it. They're making a new game developed by Platinum. Is Bayonetta going in development hell right now? Bayonetta, Bayonetta's not even a system seller either. So I'm saying, like, what's taking them so long? Like, they got all these games they got in these pockets, but they're not using them. Like, I mean, come on. Like, yeah, I agree. I, I love Punch-Out. I love the Wii version, too. Like, shoot. Like, literally, you're, you don't have to revolve your company around these games. Like, I mean, I understand that sometimes I'm, I don't know business, so this may not be profitable to them, but look. Sony's making medieval. Not everybody grew up in the PlayStation 1 era. A lot of these people that play games now grew up in the late PS2, early PS3 era. Not everybody knows medieval. But I've generally seen hype about medieval coming back. Just like with Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. So, Nintendo, you have one of the most recognizable IPs, Star Fox. Why can't you bring that? Like... Like literally, if like, I will I will do a stream and regret everything I say if Nintendo comes swinging because this is the year they can do it. Sony's not going to E3 this year. Nintendo has to make sure they have to hit it home this year with their games. Sony's not coming this year, so they have free reign to go balls crazy. I understand. Like I know for a fact they're gonna reveal. A new character in Smash Brothers. And I don't even want to talk about Smash Brothers character reveals because as much as I love Ultimate, Ultimate could have been way better if they had better character choices. But that's me. Like, I like Smash Brothers Ultimate. I do like the DLC characters. But Joker? I mean, come on. Metroid Prime 4 is going to be there. But. This is why I'm telling you that they're not going to show nothing about Metroid Prime 4 because they recently, it was about a couple of months ago, they recently said that Metroid Prime 4 had to change developers because it originally was being developed exclusively by Bandai Namco. So I'm guessing what happened was they had a play test and Nintendo didn't like it. They felt like, they may have felt like it was too far from the franchise. And Metroid had two bad games. And well, one one bad game and one very and one mediocre game. Other M was mediocre. Um Federation Force was the bad game. Like people universally hated Federation Force. There are some people who actually defend other M. But going back to that. So they changed developers to the original developer, Retro Studios. So, I doubt Retro will have anything more than a quick one-minute trailer. Maybe showing Samus wearing a suit. And then maybe showing like a CGI like, or showing like some type of gameplay. Maybe Metroid Prime will be the first game they experiment going from third person to first person. Actually doing it right. Like, if I have to say with Metroid Prime, one of the things I do want them to do is experiment with 2d and 3d like if they bring back samus's boost run go into third person and then after that she can go back to first person like that i want them to experiment more on that i want something bigger but i doubt we're going to see metroid prime 3 at e3 just because they changed hands 
around, I think, February. So I doubt Retro will have anything to show. And I don't want Retro to rush Metroid. Metroid's been bad for too long. Let them take their time. I mean, the 3DS game I heard was really good, but even then it wasn't... It wasn't like Metroid Prime good. So... But I want Nintendo to be aggressive. Like, seriously aggressive. Whatever they're going to do at E3, they better... Like, literally, I don't want the Switch. Like, I have a Switch, and I, and I like it. It's not the best console, but... It's a great console, and it has and it has some great games. I mean, they're about to have one of their biggest games come out, Mario Maker. Like, that game is going to be one of the best and the biggest games. That game right there may single-handedly take over Twitch. More so than Fortnite. Like, that game will take over Twitch. But, with Metroid Prime, though, I, like I said, I don't see it. I don't see it. I hope it shows up. If it does, I will be out of my I'll be out my seat. Unfortunately though, I have to work during E3. Like I think I work one day and I'll be able to sit down through I think the third party conference, but I won't be able to see Nintendo's or Microsoft's conference. And Microsoft I just don't care. I have an Xbox and I only play it for the old games. Like Microsoft really has like dropped the ball this generation. And Microsoft used to be one of the hungriest people out there. Now it seems like they fell into mediocrity. I understand now they acquired all these studios, but it's too late for this generation. Hopefully they bounce back. But Nintendo? Y'all got all these IPs? I better at least see a Star Fox game. If I don't see that, then whatever game you got to announce, it better one of them better be Bayonetta. Because I love the Bayonetta series. So if I if I don't see Bayonetta, then I'm I'm pretty much afraid that they, that that game went to development hell now, because I understand the game didn't move units with the Wii U, because I think at most it sold almost fifty thousand, which is not good at all, because it was exclusively made for Nintendo. But obviously it sold. Maybe I'm wrong about the number, but I think it didn't it didn't really move units, and unfortunately it was the Wii U, so the Wii U was already not really moving units as of that. But hopefully. Hopefully now, since things are changing, the Switch is actually selling pretty well. Maybe we'll see something about Bayonetta. But Metroid, like these are the games I know that won't show up in E3. Metroid, is the, we're not going to see Metroid, period. We'll see probably a quick CGI trailer, but they're not going to show. They're going to have nothing nearly complete for gameplay. Moonlift's new game, they're probably going to talk about it, but they probably won't have nothing to show. And... Like um, what Jerochi said, it may actually be Xenoblade 3, and then they'll probably talk about the new Zelda. And I know for a fact, we will definitely not see this rumored Star Fox game that people keep talking about. That ain't happening. This is Nintendo. They don't do stuff like that. We're not going to see that new rumored Star Fox game. And whatever hope people got for F-Zero, that's out the window. And then... I mean, another thing we won't see, and I'm kind of want to be, and I want to be kind of different about it. We're not going to see a playable build of Final Fantasy VII either. We're probably going to see another trailer. They said they're going to talk about it, but they never said there'll be a playable build about the game. So I'm kind of skeptical about that too. So we may not see nothing about Final Fantasy VII. I know for a fact. We are going to see, and I know this is completely off topic with the game that's that's on the screen. We're gonna probably see a new. We're probably gonna see a new Dark Siders. We're definitely gonna see a new Dark Siders. I know that for a fact. We're going to see a new Dark Siders because despite Dark Siders three have pretty much mediocre reviews, the game made its money. And they're already talking about it already. And if anyone on and everyone in this chat has ever played a Dark Siders game, the game revolves around all four horsemen. And they already when we saw the four horsemen in Death's game and in Fury's game, so they got to show his gameplay soon. But with Nintendo, I don't expect much. It's Smash Brothers, probably some more expansion for uh, what's that game? The Squid Game, Splatoon. Because that's their biggest game. Um, 
I don't know. I'm not really hopeful for this E3 because, I mean, I really want to see more Last of Us. But, I mean, when Sony dropped out, it kind of, I didn't say I lost interest. It's just, eh. Eh. But, all I need is, I just need hungry Nintendo. That's all I want. I need hungry Nintendo. If I can get hungry Nintendo, like the dog, like like the people they used to be when Sega was a thing. That's what I need.